Guys, um, this is my Mega Drive. I picked up for only three bucks. Um, this Mega Drive is completely stock. Um, I bumped it up and it looks really well, um, in person. So, uh, yeah. Um, this says high grade multi purpose use AV Intelligent Terminal, or AV Intelligent Terminal, power and on in red, high grade multi purpose use. And, uh, has a cartridge insertion slot, and when you turn on the Mega Drive, a little key comes out. You see that key, that little notch over there? That's the key. When that key comes forward, it blocks. Um. Oh, by the way, um, I got this in a pile at Toys. Um, as I told you, I did get it from Toys. I just flipped to my feet or cracked my pants when I saw two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for s for a Mega Drive. Three dollars. Think about that guys. If you go to a pawn shop or a really expensive mall and they have a flea market down there down they have a downstairs flea market. I went to one. She doesn't have a Mega Drive, and even if she did, she'd sell for sixty dollars. Well, this Mega Drive only has a scuff up on the on the edge. That's it. Rest of the stuff, almost no scratches, a few scuff marks here. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, so um. If you want to play um stock Mega Drive games on. Stock uh, Genesis games on a Sega Mega Drive, or if you want to place Genesis games on a regular unmodified stock Mega Drive, insert a 32x or something, pop in your game. Cause notice these American games have no notch. Just pop in that game, give it a 32x and on, and you can play the games. The 32X will work with the Genesis 16-bit model. Um, it will not burn. Um, so this Genesis 32X was only four bucks, um, and it can act as a as a converter. Note: um, Here's my Model 2 Genesis. Um, any 32X will do. And in North America. We have the Sega Genesis and 32X on top of each other, and there's a power and a reset. So yeah, um, North America, that's how it goes. But the power, this is just a demonstration. On the Model 1 Genesis we have, we have to slide forward, but there's just a little key coming out. There's no little key coming out, so it's basically stock, and you have like a little uh, two notches there to uh, prevent to like um, region encoding, and uh, if you cut those two notches out, you can play Mega Drive games and both Genesis games with no hassle. So, um, but it would be safer to use the 32x um, if you do not want to. If you want to keep your Mega Drive or Genesis stock, it would be better to just use a 32X to convert the games. Except 32X cannot convert the Mega Drive if you never want to modify it. So, uh, yeah guys, that's my overview of my Genesis Model 2 and my Mega Drive Model 1. And, uh, yeah, as always, I'll post another video here soon. Yeah, sorry, I copied that from Luke. <laughs> So yeah, I'll uh, I'll put up another video here. So uh, stay posted. Whoops, sorry guys. Stay posted.